Hey, what's up everybody? Adam with DIYE. In today's video, we're going to talk about content at scale, which provides SEO optimized AI content generation. So first we're going to talk about what it is and how it works, and then we're going to demonstrate it so uh, you can see it on your own and we'll give a quick review of how uh, everything goes. So a couple different things. I know I've covered uh, other AI copywriting tools, and I think that this one's a little bit different than some of the others. Um, I love Jasper, I love Article Forge, I love Yive, but this one's a little different because uh, first of all, all you really need to do is put in a, a keyword and it's going to create a whole bunch of great content for you. But really what it's about is SEO optimized content, long form content for blogging purposes. So it's not meant to be a, uh, an ad uh, content generator. It's not meant for landing pages. It's meant to kind of just drive content or build content that can drive traffic to your website. So as we talk about this, um, you know, right, right now it's, it's looking at early access. So uh, this is not generally live for everybody yet, but you can get early access just by submitting your name and email. Um, again, the focus is producing uh, SEO optimized content at scale. So not just one off content, but doing 20 to 30 different, uh, different posts per month is really the goal. Um, it is long form content. It is optimized for SEO. It is not uh, a situation where there's going to be any plagiarism concerns. Uh, there is white label opportunities. Uh, so you can set this all up on your own subdomain if needed. Um, and the API will be releasing, uh, you know, uh, an opportunity to work with uh, WordPress plugins and the like. So uh, really what I, I want to cover uh, is, is a couple things. Um, you know, this is a lot of times meant for agencies or for people that have multiple websites, not just the one website. Um, you can put out 20 to 30 new, uh, new blog posts per month, but if you're looking to do kind of multiple, uh, multiple websites, this will work out pretty well for you. So we'll quickly just talk about a couple of the important, uh, FAQs here, um, who it's not for, uh, as mentioned, it's really not meant for, for ad writers and it's not meant for, uh, for landing page generation. It is primarily meant for people that are looking to do a lot of content content generation. Um, what's expected of you, I think that's the key, is all you're really going to be doing is inserting a keyword, um, talking a little bit about who your, uh, your target is. Uh, if you can put a little information extra, it, it's not too bad, but um, it can actually work on its own without, uh, without too much content being, being created. If you want, you can take a look at a couple samples here um, on their website. Uh, the pricing is actually pretty cheap. Uh, what you're going to be looking at is anywhere, you know, for a thousand word article, you're looking at anywhere from 10 to $18. Uh, that is not bad at all, um, especially considering, you know, again, this is an AI writing tool. The difference here, uh, outside of just being kind of really focused on SEO optimized AI content generation is a lot of um, AI content writers need a lot of hand holding. Um, they need multiple keywords. They need, um, you know, a lot of feedback, whether, uh, whether it be kind of uh, you driving kind of what, uh, what information, like, you know, brief outline of what you're looking to talk about or, uh, you know, uh, sentence by sentence kind of accurate, accurately putting it together. Um, as you'll see, this kind of automates everything and uh, it does a really smooth, easy transition so that you can get it right into your, uh, into your WordPress blog. Um, without doing any, any heavy work. And most importantly, the content's unique. So uh, there, one of the things I think would be really cool, um, again, because I, I like to build kind of mass page sites, is some kind of way to generate it once and then have a spin rewriter, um, but it doesn't have that yet. Uh, but that said, you know, again, it does give you the ability to kind of create a lot of different content, um, you know, uh, just based on one simple uh, set of keywords. And uh, we'll go into that right, right now. So before we go behind the scenes, I do want to mention one more thing. Um, they have a done for you service. Uh, I think it's, it's probably a little pricey depending on what your budget looks like on a monthly basis. Um, it is $2,000 a month. Now this is much more expensive than the individual postings. Um, and uh, I do want to point out that it's a month to month thing. It's a cancel any time. Um, it does come with 20 posts per month and the key being that they're doing all the work for you. So they're doing the keyword research for you. Um, they're running the system. They're, they're uh, um, editing and optimizing all these posts. Um, so if you're looking to just have somebody do everything for you and get pretty great content, um, you're going to be looking at about 20, 20, uh, I'm sorry, $2,000 a month for, uh, for 20 posts. Um, if you are very interested in it, I do suggest you reach out. Um, that's not my cup of tea. I don't like to go into that kind of thing until I've really uh, researched and tried out uh, a tool. But um, if you are looking for a completely hands-off, which I love, I love the done-for-you situation uh, because passive income is fantastic. 
Um, this is something where um, Justin, you should reach out to. He's the CEO and founder. Um, he built a uh, or worked with a company called Leadfuse. He was the CEO, I believe, of that as well. But they'll he'll kind of talk with you about what you're looking to accomplish and uh, create a very done for you system that is uh, pretty awesome. But let's talk about um, getting into the content at scale now um, behind the scenes. So once you log in, you're going to end up on a, a situation, a, a simple page like this, where you can go ahead and create a new project. And what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to do this for one of my um, one of my my websites that I utilize, where I'm going to probably be uh, having this um, set up. So we're going to just go ahead and create that uh, as the project URL. Um, it does give you an op opportunity to change as many uh, monthly posts as you want, so it's automatic. Um, again, you can create different tones of voice, which is, I think, pretty cool um, if you're looking, you know, depending on what your kind of, uh, you know, your content is meant to be. Um, it can be sarcastic, witty, professional, uh, authoritative, bold, casual, dramatic, all these different things. Uh, I'm just going to simply go for professional here. Um, project content, strongly recommended. And enter project content in four to eight words. Describe what the website um, and of course, it doesn't really show you here. Um, basically, what the website's about and what you're looking uh, for the content to be about. So, uh, really, what I'm going to do is uh, I do have a kind of a keyword that I'm looking to do: um, AI tools for affiliate marketing. So, really, uh, you know, that website's all about AI copywriter tools, where uh, we do reviews of um, the different AI copywriting tools. Um, who the target audience is is going to be, you know, small businesses. Uh, it's going to be affiliate marketers and entrepreneurs. And so we're going to go ahead and create the project. And what keyword do I want to rank for? Again, uh, I'm going to just type in AI tools for affiliate marketing. Um, if you do want to add more to, more keywords, one of the cool things they can do is allow you to upload upload a CSV where it will just kind of upload in a queue. Kind of, if you put a hundred different keywords, it puts them all in a queue, and it will go one you know one keyword at a time for each article. Um, I don't need that, so what I'll do is kind of just put that in simply, and then cover the different types of to topics and talk about solution as the uh, best. Um, you know, really what it's looking at, this helps shape the post for a keyword in a way that you are uh, wanting. Use context to give the AI topics to cover or angles you want to take with the post. So really what, uh, what this can be is a comparison, you know, keyword. So um, comparison to Jasper AI. Um, I'm going to put in um, affiliate marketing content generation as a keyword and so that's good for me um, I don't need to go too much into it and we can again add this to a queue so if we just are kind of brainstorming want to you know create multiple different pro uh, multiple different posts in a keyword project um, we can just go to add to, to the keyword queue I'm going to just go ahead and uh, create the content now And so uh, one's been added, it's gonna say check back in a few minutes, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, so just checking in here real quick, what you'll see is once it's, um, it's started, you'll see that it's got a kind of a status and uh, it's in the building process. Um, it does take a few minutes here. Uh, it's already been, uh, you know, uh, let's see. It's already been three to four minutes uh, since I, uh, I started here. So I'm going to give it a, a couple more minutes. It just jumped a little bit. But usually it's going to take anywhere from, uh, from about five to, five to ten minutes um, for the AI system to kind of automate and, uh, and generate that content. So I'll check back in in another moment. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes to create. Um, it's still pending optimization. So it's going through uh, its, its own processes on the back end. But um, we can go through. We've got a, uh, an article that says the top three AI tools for affiliate marketing. It's 76 paragraphs, 1,650 words, 11 headings, uh, no media. And we'll go into the details on that. So um, you can obviously just edit here or just click into it to go into the article. Now this is where I think it, 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 it's a pretty cool tool. Um, so first of all, uh, we, we get a title that's produced, um, a, a URL slug. 
um, and a meta description. So all these are obviously editable. Um, and then you can select a featured image where again, um, you know, you can upload something or you can use their, um, you know, their, their, their different images. Um, they can uh, be set as a featured image or you can just add images at any point. Um, so pretty cool stuff there. Uh, it gives you a summary quickly of, uh, you know, how many words there are, how many paragraphs, headings, and media. So something to note is that it does already look at keywords, or I'm sorry, look at other posts that are on Google um, for the keyword that you utilize. So my keyword was uh, AI tools for affiliate marketing, which again, they used in the title. Um, so it goes and looks at different keyword, or I'm sorry, different articles that are ranking already and compares them. And so, um, really what we find is that uh, of the uh, articles for these different keywords, what it shows you is what people are using in their articles and how many times they use it and how many times we've used it. So um, it, it's a very pretty, uh, pretty decent uh, way to showcase kind of what the average articles are um, on Google and how you are. So you're you're, uh, you're doing a lot of uh, extra keywords or I'm sorry, extra words, extra paragraphs and, uh, and the like. So one of the things I really also love is that it automatically sets up a table of contents for you. Um, so I think this is just a very, forget about uh, Google and optimization in general, I think it's very user friendly for people that are reading articles. If they're looking to kind of just quickly find some information, um, you know, the top three AI tools or how to get started, um, you know, what is an AI marketing tool, like it gives all that information in a quick and easy uh, way to access. So I think that's a very user friendly um, uh, way to, to way to, to read an article is to quickly con um, jump in in content there. Um, so as we go through this, what we'll see is, um, you know, again, I'll, I'm going to page through this slowly in case you kind of want to read through it um, and get a feel for what the article it has. Um, I will also at the bottom of this video have a link. I'm going to put this article at the bottom of AICopywriterTools.com and it probably will be AI tools for um, affiliate marketing. It might be a little bit different slug, but basically what I will do is have a link to that so that you can read the entire article at your leisure if you'd like. Um, so you can see kind of what the keywords are, what's being utilized. Um, this does come with an on-page checklist talking about title length, um, you know, metal, meta includes primary keywords. So, you know, again, really what we can do is if we want to make sure the meta description has the actual keyword, uh, we can go ahead and change things. Uh, you know, does it have images? Does it have links? All that stuff, outbound links, paragraphs or three sentences or less. So you can tweak this however you want. But again, for the actual user friendly uh, portion of this outside of being SEO optimized, um, I think it's great because it's got a table of contents. Um, it's got some visual key t takeaways um, that you can kind of edit if you need to, but um, I think it just makes it very user friendly because people scroll, quite frankly. Um, we know it's a, a click to tweet feature. Um, people want to go through and uh, quickly look for what they're, they're, they're looking to find. And uh, I, I think it makes a, a very easy to view and, uh, and I guess, user friendly um, article, um, which is important. And so as you're creating blog posts, um, in, in, in multiple blog posts, uh, you know, knowing that you're going to be getting high quality is important, but not only for the, the, the readability, but you know, how, how, how it looks is, is super important to me. So, um, I, I wish it would give, I, I mean, it, it, it obviously knows what the checklist is going to be. Um, so I do wish that it would immediately kind of go and optimize right from the start. Uh, knowing that it that it does that, but you know, overall, I think that the fact that it provides a checklist and provides kind of a uh, an easy to view kind of uh, you know way to understand uh, how this all works, um, I think that's super super valuable. Um, again, I just wish it would do a little bit better um, job of making sure all these check boxes in the checklist were uh, were checked off. Um, so, you know, to me, it's a no brainer to have the first uh, paragraph include the primary keyword. So I would go ahead and update it, but I'm not going to change things for this, for the purposes here. So you can get a good feel for it. But, um, to me, that's, that's super important. And, uh, I, you know, that's a little disappointing and I'm sure they'll tweak it in the future. But, uh, again, it's, it's kind of in its, in its launch phase. So it's, you know, it's early access. Uh, so, you know, understand that's the position that it's in. So. 
Um, what I'm going to do here is save, but you know, you can go ahead and say complete pending edi editing. Like if you're working with the team, um, you can kind of just, you know, easily show what, what's, what's what, where, where it is in the stage. So now that we have this, um, there's a couple different ways to get it to our, to our blog. Um, you can connect your blog directly. Um, I will just basically be copying this page source and uh, literally just you know copy and uh, you know putting it rightly right into my WordPress blog. Really simply, how that's done is if I do want to go in and add it as uh, as it is, I'll just literally copy. I'll go into the new post, hit text, and just drop that in, and so that the visual um, you know again carries that all over. So. Uh, that's the simple and easy way to do it. Um, they are. I, I know there is a plugin that they're working on that will allow you to kind of, um, when doing this at, at scale, literally when you have that 20, uh, 20 per month situation going, uh, the WordPress plug plugin will allow it to just automatically go in there. But uh, I don't have that yet. So, um, so that's that. So that is a quick rundown of how it works. And uh, you know, I, I think it's a, again a valuable uh, SEO optimized tool for you. Um, I think the content overall is uh, is pretty solid. Um, again, you can edit all this a, as you see fit, uh, and you can export it to Word if you need to. And it just literally uh, you know drag or you know drops it down here, so I could just upload it directly if I needed to, or I could send it to be edited if I wanted um, by by uh, you know uh, my team or or if you know my team is doing this, they can send it to me. Um, so I, I think it's a pretty pretty satisfactory tool um, again depending on what your marketing budget is for this kind of thing it may or may not fit into your budget but I do recommend that you uh, again check out the early access uh, I will have a link below that will uh, get you a bonus so if you use the link below you'll actually get a specific bonus that allows their team to do the keyword research for you it only works if you go through the link below not if you go through the content you know direct th through their site so um, I want to make sure that you use that link so you'll not only get that uh, that starter plan bonus where they'll do the research for you but they're also going to provide you um, with a, uh, a bonus of, uh, of, of credit. So everybody that uses, uses the link below uh, will get a 20% bonus uh, in their credits. So what that simply means is if you bought 20, you'd get 24 um, you know, credits to utilize for your, uh, for your posts. So again, there are a couple different options. Um, you can scale this up as, as much as you would like, uh, but the starter plan is again, a 20, 20 credit option. Um, I, it is in that early access phase. Um, I definitely recommend that you check it out. Uh, again, my, my personal view is I think it's super friendly um, for both the, the, the users and as well as your readers because I think the output is a, a little bit better than, um, forget the quality of the content, but just for the usability, the readability of it, I think it makes it easier for me to create a very visually pleasing uh, article for uh, people that are visiting my website. So um, I definitely recommend it. Uh, again, use the link below to get started. And uh, as usual, um, please let me know your feedback on, uh, on what you think of, uh, of content at scale. And uh, you know, don't be afraid to like, uh, comment, and or subscribe uh, to our videos. Thank you.